What? Go to Komore Tea House. You know someone's main island, Narukami Island. For the first time, you carry out your invitation to Komore Tea House, not knowing what might happen next. <laughs> I don't know what happens next. Nobody knows what happens next. Oh, God. I gotta go all the way over there. Why do I have to go all the way over there? Because all the way over there. Where am I now? Inazuma City. I have now gone into mainland Japan land. Not mainland China. That will be too easy. Alright, where be tea house? Alright, where are you? Where are you? I don't know. Here, here, here. Oh! I got stuck in a corner. This should be the place. Yes, Japan land. Where we sit down and drink tea. Sorry, we don't serve the general public. Oh! I'm afraid you'll have to leave. Ooh. I'm sorry. We don't serve your kind. Yes, we're other public. Well then, you must be a couple of wandering outlanders that snuck into the nation, judging by your attire. Oh, what happens if anybody just wants to get tea? Oh, are our clothes really so... Uh, oh, Here's our uh, invitation letter. What Paimon means to say is... Don't say anything. The Yashiro Commission seal. This must be from Mr. Toma. It seems there's more to you than meets the eye. No, no, don't don't make a Transformers reference. In which case, welcome to the Komore Tea House, a safe haven for the Yashiro Commission. Well, this sounds more like it. Yes, just let me have three wishes. Enter Komore Tea House, place for conversing with well, people. Now that we're here, where's Toma? I don't know. Honey oh, doesn't see him anywhere. Do you think he forgot his promise to meet us? Of course, you don't see him anywhere. Uh, also, obvious demon is obvious. Who forgot their promise? I was beginning to think you'd forgotten about me. What? Talking dog. <sighs> Should I be surprised? But then again, I've seen i seen like a cat. Not a cat that tried to talk, but a talking snake. I don't know. Snake. Talk, somehow in the Asian world, animals can talk. But when it goes back to Mondstadt with the cat's tail cat prince, that doesn't count. Oh, okay. What? Is that them talking to us? Yes, obvious statement is obvious. <laughs> Relax, no need to look so surprised. I take it this is the first time you've seen me in this So you're hall? a dig. Where did the human looking Toma go? Huh. So you didn't see anything like this when you were in Leo Harbor? I did, but I didn't expect it to happen again. Oh, now that you mention it, it does suddenly seem less out of the ordinary. Uh, but it doesn't really add up. But then again, you'll probably ask, what doesn't add up? Oh, I don't know. Maybe I should have been told it was a talking dog. <laughs> all right, all right. I've had my fun. Uh... You know what? Fine. I feel like the biggest idiot. You've been trolled. You've been trolled. Yes, you've probably been told. Don't reply to this guy. He's just trying to get a rise out of you. Yes, it's true. You respond and that's his cue to start trouble on the double while he strokes his manly stubble. You've been trolled. You've been trolled. You should probably just fold when the only winning fool is not to play. And yet you keep on trying, mindlessly replying. You've been trolled, you've been trolled. Have a nice day. I feel like hey, I... you're this close to getting an ugly nickname, mister. And honestly, I literally forgot about Toma. Honestly. So you know what? That's, that's on me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've had some time to kill, given that I've been waiting here for you for so long. So I came uh... up with this little fun greeting for when you arrived. The dog talks. But, in all seriousness, I would like to apologize about that little test you went through earlier. Though, it was quite necessary. Because this is the treatment of foreigners, a.k.a. Gaijin or Gaikokujin. It helped us determine whether or not to bring you before Miss Kamisato, and whether you had the courage to face the lightning alongside us. Mmm, so I get to fight the Raiden Shogun? I wonder. Hmm. 
don't think that Paimon's gonna forgive you just <clears throat> because you're getting all serious now. <laughs> Sorry, did I overdo it? My apologies. The courage to face the lightning? Let me just say this. You've often found yourself skirting the rules from the very beginning, haven't you? Yes. Naturally, this is due to your unwavering and resolute determination. A long time ago, we had a friend who was much the same. But when the lightning struck... Uh, you mean Kazu... You mean he died in a duel before the throne. Ah, so you've heard of his story. I really mm. feel like I'm gonna f face off the Raiden Shogun at one point. His light still burns all the more brightly. So, wait... Will we be allowed to meet the Shirasugi Himigimi? Yes, of course. Himigimi. I will bring you to the Kamisato residence where the Yashiro Commission is located. Okay. But before that, there is one other place I was hoping you both would accompany me to. Where? Huh? Why? I would like you to come with me to the statue of the Omnipresent God. It's still under construction now, but you can already see it from practically anywhere on Narukami Island. Okay. Narukami. Hello. This area sure feels Obviously, it is obvious. People probably don't come here often, do they? Well, they have to build it, so of course they kind of do have to come here. Huh? Are Pirate's eyes playing tricks? Or are there things embedded in the statue? Where? Visions. So you've already heard of the Vision Hunt Degree. Why did the Shogun issue the Vision Hunt Degree? Is it as a result of the Shokoku Degree? Is it the reason why Japan has been closed down and they don't allow anybody else? Before I try to explain, I should perhaps remind you first that Mondstadt is the city of freedom and Liyue is the city of contracts. And Inazuma is the city of eternity? As for Inazuma, it's known as the Nation of Eternity. But what does eternity mean, and how does one conceptualize the term? The Raiden Shogun is both the nation's most powerful ruler and its deity. Mm -hmm. The eternity in question is her endless and unchanging will to rule over Inazuma. Is that really, like, the definition of eternity? But then again, like, I don't know, That that's one, that's like occurring across all time. But at one point, I'm pretty sure the Raiden Shogun, at some point, came into being from a state of non-eternity. So how can someone who is non-eternal conceive of eternal? As such, I have no idea. she relies on the Tri Commission to regulate the nation's affairs, and the Sokoku Decree to limit the people's movement. Yeah, I somehow knew the Sokoku Decree somehow came... The Shogun wishes to keep Inazuma in stasis allowing the stream of time to flow from one end to the other without disturbing it for all time. Ooh. Seems like every god has their own will. Well, we dealt with Venti, and he was okay with trying to uh, get in touch with Duvalin. We spoke with Zhang Li, who just wanted to give up the whole f f godhood bit. But the Raiden Shogun, I don't know, that's a whole other thing right then and there. Of course, this is my own limited understanding. As for the reason behind the recent Vision Hunt Decree, mm -hmm. perhaps the Shogun believes that visions grant people the power to change, and that her eternity doesn't allow for such instability to exist. So... I, I guess simply put, she represents stagnation, visions represent change, so every other vision is like contrary to what she represents. Whatever the case, the fact is that the Raiden Shogun has dispatched the Tenryo Commission to scour the nation for visions, embedding each one in this statue. And this statue of the omnipresent god can be seen as Inazuma's symbol of eternity. Mm. But if that's the case, wouldn't you say that the Raiden Shogun is being, oh, I don't know, selfish? Isn't every god selfish? <laughs> Only outlanders <laughs> such as yourselves would ever dare speak out so directly against the Raiden Shogun. And yet, I agree. The Vision Hunt Decree is something that simply should not exist. And Miss Kamisato has been committed to fighting it since the day it was announced. Hmm. Well, that's the thing. If the, the representation to repress change should be, should not exist, shouldn't the idea or misinterpretation of eternity 
should not exist. Mm. What? Huh? Hey, are you okay? You what look was that sound just now? Sound? What sound? I didn't hear anything. Did something happen? Mm. Well, yeah, you touched the statue and then... And then what? I could hear the sound of people's aspirations. Was that Japanese text? I couldn't quite tell. Aspirations? Hmm. That would seem to confirm the saying. What saying? Have you heard it before? That when a person's ambition reaches a certain strength, the gods look upon them with favor. Mm. That is where visions come from. In other words, a person's vision represents their ambition. Hmm. So if what you just said is true, then the ambitions of these people are stronger than I imagined. So a vision symbolizes ambition and not power. All right, time for the next stop on our tour of Narukami Island, the Kamisato residence. Okay. <sighs> Finally! <laughs> Metroculus! Oh god. Why did there have to be a house with a roof that I cannot climb up to? Alright. I don't think these guys have sugar in here. Do you know? Alright. Uh. So, this is the kind of place where the big shots of Inazuma are. It's harder to top the Dawn Winery, it's harder to top the Jade Chamber. Jade Chamber? Welcome at last to the Kamisato Residence, honored guest. This Kamisato is delighted to finally meet you. Miss Kamisato. Sugar. Sugar girl god. No, it's sugar god. Is this the Shirasage Himigimi you keep going on about? <clears throat> oh, uh, behind the screen? Yes, behind the screen. Yes. <laughs> As, the As the daughter of the Yashiro, Yashiro Commission, Commission, this is how Miss Kamisato is accustomed to receiving guests. guests. To hearing people behind folding screen, or in this case, flat screen. Not related to TV monitors or terabi. Consider, Consider it a time-honored time -honored tradition, tradition within, within the Yashiro, Yashiro Commission. Slightly... Forgive me if this is an unwelcome surprise. surprise. I think I understand. Mm, makes sense. I don't understand. She's a super important person after all. Please, Please forgive my lack of courtesy for receiving you in this fashion. Especially following such a long and wearisome journey over the sea. I have awaited your arrival with great anticipation. And Toma assures me that you do indeed possess the power to change the tide of the times. Uh -huh. At present in Inazuma, in the name of the Vision Hunt Decree, the people's aspirations are being senselessly trampled underfoot. Though the Yashiro Commission serves the Shogun, it is the people with whom we share close bonds, given the contact we are required to have with them in the performance of our duties. A Commission's power rises and falls with the trust of their people. Thus, we cannot remain indifferent to this situation without also remaining indifferent to our own fate, Traveler. Lend us your power, and we can... I'm just here to meet the Raiden Shogun. I am gonna ha have to face off the Raiden Shogun. Oh. <sighs> See, milady, it's, it's just like I said. I'm going oh, to leave you now. Wait! Please, don't, don't go! go. What? I will introduce, I will introduce you, to you to the Raiden Shogun, Shogun on, on one, one condition. condition. You, you must fulfill three small wishes on my behalf. Wishes? What are your wishes? Is it like in the menu? They, they pertain to three whose visions were taken from them. Perhaps, Perhaps once you've met them, you will understand. Hmm. The Traveler says that Kamisato tells the story of the three visionless people. A warrior who guards the village, a former samurai who helped carry out the vision hunt decree, and a swordmaster determined to become the best in the world. Does Paimon get that right? I don't know if, like, I haven't heard it, but given what Paimon said, I'm gonna assume that is the case. Correct. Please, do all you can to help them. Uh, do you wish? I will await your return order. here. Fine. <laughs> then, you have my gratitude. <laughs> I'm sure you'll do great. So I gotta do these three small quests. Alright, what happened? Let's see. Ayaka told us about. What was the person? Why are you doing this? 
Why leave all of a sudden? Precisely. It's much too sudden. We've had no time to prepare. No one has time to prepare. The children are desperate for you to take them out to play. Please, we urge you to reconsider. Why, you can't take them out to play? Oh! That must be the guy I uncle told us about. Wait, which one was it? Uh... I need to talk to whoever it is. Kenjiro! Why the change? If you want my opinion, something to do with the Vision Hunt Decree. Yes. It's clear that Tejima had done nothing wrong, and still they confiscated his vision. After that, he became a completely different person. What do you expect when you take away a person's power? I can't claim to fully understand it, but I could tell that he'd lost something very important to him. He went off on a walk, alone, circled the village a few times, and then out of the blue, he announced that he was going to leave and become a wanderer. Why can't he tell me himself? Truth be told, we aren't sure whether trying to keep him here is the right thing to do. But equally, it doesn't feel right to let him be when he's in this state. He's a lost soul. Uh, pretty much every single other vision carrier lost their vision. Seems like he's a well-respected guy. Uh, oh, ask the crowd for news. You must also be... Tejima has protected this place ever since he arrived here 30 years ago. Keeping out the treasure hoarders, ending off any monsters that draw near, resolving quarrels between the villagers. He has put an enormous amount of work into looking after this place. And we all think the world, but now... All of a sudden, we will gladly apologize if that's the case. All we want is for him to stay. Why? Like, yeah, to keep the treasure horrors away, but like, it, it just kind of seems selfish. You must be Tejima. So what made you want to up and leave all of a sudden? He wants his vision back. Me? I... It's, it's not, not a question, question of why I want, want to leave. leave. Everyone depends but on you. But quite true. But that's, that's not why I chose to stay here. Then why did you choose to stay here? And what made me want to come here 30 years ago? And why have I never wanted to leave in all that time? I don't have answers to those questions because I can't remember anymore. Ever since they took my vision away, it's like a slice of my memory is gone. In the past, I knew I wanted to stay here. But whatever resolve I had then, it's gone now. So I thought, what's to stop me from moving around instead? The emptiness inside me will be there either way. Okay. Well, in that case, if we help you rediscover the reason you chose to stay, you won't need to leave anymore, right? Hmm. If you can't remember anything, it's not gonna be easy. Okay. Maybe if you just try a little harder to remember, then it'll all come flooding back? Oh, that reminds me. Last time I brought Tejima some fruit, I do believe I saw him... Mm. I keep a diary? Okay, better, Patrick? Yeah, that's a lot better now. Okay, oh, better. Yes, yes, you do. And what's more, I remember you saying at the time that you wanted to make a note... Perfect! So if we want to keep Tejima from leaving... We... If you don't mind, we will leave you to find the diary. Because he wants to go and be wandering. Where is it? Log. Oh, he's right here. Looks like Tejima wants you what we today. The villagers and I got together to cook dried braised salted fish. I messed up and burned mine a little, so I had to pretend that it was Black Snake Head instead. Oh, okay. Just, just, just rename it, and everything will sound better. Today, I helped rescue a kid who had fallen in the water. After I pulled him out, he told me that his best friend Bamboo was still in the water. I searched the water the whole afternoon before finding out that Bamboo was the name of his pet crab. Pet crab. I went kite flying today. The string broke, so I chased after it as fast as 
I could. I soon realized I was never going to get it back. Hmm. Seems like your average diary of daily village life. Yes. Huh? Wait, I went to pray at the shrine again today and stayed there a while. The omamori you gave me has faded a little, but it is still my most treasured possession. Now that's the kind of info we're looking for. So we gotta get the omamori. Examine marks. Oh, there it is. That little thing right there. So this is the omamori Tejima wrote about. Hmm, interesting. Looking at the color and the design, Paimon would have thought it belonged to a child. It almost looks like my omamori. <laughs> anyway, if he had this with him all the time, there's a chance some of... Huh. Elemental vision. Elemental sight. Huh. Alright, where am I going? Oh god, purple. Purple stuff. Here? Hmm. Here we are! This seems to be somewhere that the soil looks like it's been disturbed. Maybe it must be something pretty amazing if... Okay. <gasps> looks like... A letter! Treasure the chest gone letter. Yellow. Must have been written a real Yes. Oh, if we become no, separated no. during war, go for me and Khan Village is a safe home for us there. Where is that place again? Does that actually it looks like it is written in Japanese, but I don't know, like an old style Japanese. Eh, I don't know, I, I could be off. Or maybe it's just random gibberish according to the game. Huh. So the reason Tejima came here, but he's been here for 30 years! Oh, well, let's go give Tejima his stuff back and take it from the- So he was waiting for somebody. That was the original reason. You. Yeah. Well, I'll be. That's certainly my handwriting. And I guess the Omamori and letter belong to me too. I have no memory of anything that's written in this diary. Still, it's clear that I was waiting for someone here, and that I chose to wait for 30 years. Over the years, I must have made a note of anything interesting, anything that I could share with her when we were finally reunited. Hmm. <sighs> and just look at all the things that did happen over the years. The time has flown by so quickly. How could I have forgotten something so important to me? Love, regret, everything I felt for her. Does it make you feel sad? It's all, no. Not especially. Because when you had your mind and your emotions wiped, that's kind of the thing. After all, I've forgotten who she was. Her face, her voice. The things we experienced together. I barely recall any of it. It's as if she'd never been in my life to begin with. As if all these years have been nothing but a hazy dream. So do you still plan on leaving? I think maybe not. If this is something I waited most of my life for, I suppose I should carry on waiting. Although, what if she were to turn up eventually? Only to find I didn't remember so much as her name. Wouldn't that be upsetting for her? When I think about it like that, I do feel a slight tinge of sadness in my heart. Mm. How curious. Why am I thinking like this when I don't even remember who she is? It's just like that feeling of emptiness. The feeling that something is... missing. <sighs> Thank you both for helping me reconnect with my reason for staying here. I shall remain here and keep waiting for her. So that's why you're here the whole time. Tejima <laughs> seems to be dealing. The okay. reason to feel sad is maybe the, losing still, our reason to feel sad is maybe the saddest really thing of all. Seems it's just like <laughs> Ayaka and Toma were saying. If you lose your vision, you lose all your hopes and dreams too. Hmm. That certainly explains the state Tejimo was in earlier. At least we were able to help him, weren't we? Yes. <sighs> also, yes. Also, moving on. According to Ms. Kamisato, the second one who lost their vision.
Division is a samurai from the Tenryo Commission. Where do I have to get gone? That's where I have to get gone. Get gone. They say the Tenryo Commission is directly controlled by the Shogun. They're the ones responsible for maintaining law and order in Inazuma. The ones actually enforcing the Vision Hunt Decree. Okay. But why would they take action against one of their own? Because that it's... It's almost as if Inazuma is like its own crucible. At one point, people stopped shooting outside the wagons, and now they're gonna start shooting inside the wagons. Oh, Paimon doesn't get it. Huh? There seems to be some commotion over there. Let's go see what's happening. Obvious statement is obvious. I'll ask one more time. Do you intend to withhold this month's emergency provisions? The entire clan is counting on that food. We demand an explanation. How many times do I have to say it? I don't know anything about emergency provisions. You dare deceive us? Those provisions are essential. Do you understand? Not some goods to be pocketed by greedy samurai. You samurai think you can just do whatever you please? The Tenryo Commission will hear of this. Emergency provisions like emergency food? Uh, huh? And who are you? One of Kurosawa's gang, no doubt. Uh, what? We just happened to be passing by. We heard the commotion and came to see what the matter was. Mm -hmm. I see. You seem to have come just at the right time. Perhaps you can help us settle this matter. This is Kurosawa. He's a samurai and a member of the Shogun's army. They issue emergency provisions to the area, and he's the one responsible for distribution. In the past, we'd simply ask him for provisions and everything would be delivered. Now, he suddenly refuses to give us anything. He's keeping the provisions for himself. I just know it. We'll starve without them. No one seems to care about us. We used to think Kurosawa was a kind man, but he's shown his true colors. He's the same as all the other samurai. It's no wonder all the visions have been confiscated. The Raiden Shogun doesn't need people like him helping her rule the nation. This must be one of the people Ayaka asked us to help. But why would she ever want us to help someone like him? Hmm. Even I'm starting to wonder. Maybe we should talk to Kurosawa and see what he has to say. Why are you withholding food? Why? I've never even heard of these emergency provisions. And what happens if I have evidence to back that up? I don't know whether it's rumors or whether they're trying to blackmail me. But either way, it's ridiculous. If I was hoarding supplies, would I still be the poor man I am today? My own You're family poor. can barely get by as it is. Were you heard that no, you lost you'll your excuse vision me, recently? I've got other matters to attend to. And that's the first bit of truth I've heard all day. The Shogun's army told me that I was unworthy of my vision. And they said I was slacking off in my work. Apparently, I'd even disappointed the Raiden Shogun. And that's why they confiscated my vision. Well, that's strange. You were helping enforce the Vision Hunt Decree. Why would you be unworthy of your vision? Because that's... There is no such thing as worthiness of a vision. To be perfectly honest, I don't seem to remember the details. All I know is that I would perform certain things every month. But I don't recall what they were. It's almost as if, like, confiscating someone's visions is like taking away their memories and ambitions and everything. And it's not just that. I have this unsettling feeling. Like, like... Someone owes me something. Does it have to do with the missing emergency provision? I didn't take any. Like I said, if I was taking them for myself, I wouldn't be going through such hard times right now. To top it all off, my house was just raided by treasure hoarders. Which is why I came here in the first place. If you don't believe me, go find the treasure hoarders yourself. If there were any emergency provision... Hmm. Okay. But we better confirm. What? We should be able to follow their track. Okay. Alright, let's see where it's at. You. We really outdid ourselves this time. All those samurai houses packed with goods. <laughs> you haven't seen anything yet. There'll be a lot more where this came from. Today's just the beginning. I'll be leading you all on an epic journey of pit. You demand, boss. Treasure plunder is doing pre treasure plunder things. These seem like the treasure hoarders we're after. Okay. Alright, that's it. Put them in the misery. Uh, Another test second. Uh, uh, 
have a little tip. I got careless. Steal. Come on, boss. <clears throat> Not bad, kid. We're gonna toast you about the Kurosawa. Joining the mm. treasure hoarders. You like you. Kurosawa. So he's the one who sent you after us, huh? <laughs> Just. So what did you see in? Food supplies. You kidding? That place was a complete mess. All we found was a strange-looking box. I didn't want anyone else to see it, so I was planning. But now that you've caught us, how about we make a deal? Huh? What the? Th what? There's nothing in here but IOUs! What? He owes everybody a lot? Yeah. And they all seem to be made out to the owner of a general goods store. A Miss Aoi. We better talk to this Miss Aoi and get to the bottom of this. The As hell? for you, Ga So, we redeemed ourselves for some IOUs. Uh, does that mean we broke even? Shut it. Uh, talk to Aoi in the general good shop. Blue? Okay, you! You got the IOUs. Aoi. Which is Japanese for the color blue. Welcome to but you don't look blue! Groceries. Except for the vase behind everything you. everything you need. Or perhaps, there's something you How about have, these IOUs? so you're friends of Kurosawa, I take it. <laughs> perhaps you're here to pay off his debts. Whoa! Get ahead of ourselves. How much? How did Kurosawa end up owing you so much money? Let me think. Kurosawa would come regularly to purchase large quantities of foodstuffs. He'd always put the payment on his own account. However, the price of provisions began to skyrocket recently, and his salary was no longer enough. So that's how he was getting those emergency provisions. But why did he have to purchase a usual amount? The prices increased. Couldn't he just buy less? If the price increased, there's no way he could buy any at all. Well, if you think about it, the citizens receiving the emergency provisions must have been carefully <sighs> calculating how much they needed to sustain them each time. Because everybody in this Vision Hunt decree and the Sakoku decree and basically screw everybody around you in the Merchant decree. I don't think that actually exists, but what the hell. Basically, it's turned into an upstart economy. Kurosawa thought that it would be quite the disappointment for them if they found they didn't have enough. Especially after such long and careful planning. So he deemed it necessary to take on the debt rather than let the people down. Hmm. Wow. Kurosawa was purchasing all the emergency provisions at his own expense. So there's no way he could afford any more. No one ever appreciated what he did. They just complained and held them accountable. People's attitudes will always reflect their circumstances. In the face of hardship, nobody cares to think twice. Uh, if you ask me, had Kurosawa told everyone the truth about the supplies from the start, then there wouldn't be such a severe backlash now. Of course, I'm sure there would still have been some unrest. What he was doing was truly a thankless deed. As for why he chose to spend his own money on emergency provisions and never tell anyone. If you're still curious, why don't you go ask him yourself? Remember. I see. That reminds me, it seems that his vision was recently confiscated. It seems like the idea of confiscating visions is like, in a way, confiscating memories. Like nobody's allowed to remember what they did and they just have to start from scratch. What a really messed up way of trying to trying to envision eternity by resetting the mind back to zero. Most unfortunate. If he doesn't clear the debt on his name, he'll have no choice but to sell that sword that is so dear to him. Sword? What? Oh, didn't he tell you? I've asked him about its origins. He told me that it was a gift from his father. In hindsight, I regret that I never made an offer on it. 
everything has its price. Why don't you ask him about the sword yourself? Perhaps it'll even provide you with the answers you're looking for. Oh, but before you go, if you... <laughs> but we didn't buy it. <laughs> information is also a... Don't worry. I won't charge much for information Gunmarsh, about Kurosawa. Fine. Well, at least we now know where the emergency provisions <laughs> are coming from. Let's go talk to Kurosawa. Uh, if he doesn't remember anything... <laughs> and my cam froze. Damn it! Um, shocked, what are you doing here all by yourself? Where did those other two go? I presented them with a choice. Either they left or I drew my sword. They left. Mm. It turned out to be a real time saver, actually. Perhaps I should start using it more often. Nah, I don't think you should. And did you manage to track down the treasure hoarders? Everything I said was true. Right? You crown your counter with the treasure orders in conversation with that Ali. Just about sums it up. It turns out that you really were distributing emergency provisions. Strange. Is that really the kind of person I was? Uh, yeah. I don't really have any such recollection. Even after all you've told me, I still don't remember anything. Why was I purchasing emergency provisions for everyone? And why would I put myself in such a difficult situation? <laughs> because that's what vision bearers are. They put others before themselves. But I cannot deny that when I brandished my sword to scare those two away, I could sense that my body was somehow Might if we have a look. And this sword was once wielded by my father. Mm-hmm. I remember once when I was young, I wanted to sneak out with the blade and show it off to the kids next door. My father ended up catching me in the act. And so what did he say? <sighs> it would seem that I forgot many important things when my vision was taken from me. So all I can remember now is my father telling me that this blade bore his life's creed. Before he passed away, he placed the sword in my hands and said to me with this sword you should hey if you look carefully there seems to be some words engraved on the hilt can you recognize the words the words are virtue and justice virtue and justice hmm somehow those two words seem to explain every taking on seemingly endless debts to make others happy I guess that must have been my greatest ambition after all. But what use of virtue and justice? I purchased the provisions for those in need. And look how things ended up. The Tenryo Commission seized my vision. And the very people I was so desperately trying to help refused to understand me. And the irony of all of it is, I somehow still felt sorry when threatening them with my blade. I'm incapable of being a good person, yet I'm equally unable to be bad. I... I don't know what to do with myself. Yet another troubled soul. When we get the chance, let's speak to Toma about Kurosawa's debt. The Yashiro Commission would surely help cover his expense in any case. We must never let him sell off that sword. vision is no trifling matter. Yeah. Seems like losing all ambition is a terrible experience. Fortunately for us, you don't have a vision. Or maybe my character does, but how does my character... Like, does everybody with a vision have ambition? Or is it possible for someone to have ambition without a vision? Let's I don't know. find the next poor soul. I can't remember what the next poor soul was. I was never told that in the first place, aside from what Paimon had said. Uh, Swordmaster's path is paved with broken blades. Find the next person. Oh, the, uh, the, I don't know. 